Today we're going to be trying first impressions of a mascara I picked up at the drugstore uh, called Joa. I don't know if you guys have heard of this one, but I grabbed it and it says that um, it is a volumizing and curling mascara. So apparently, according to Joa, uh, this mascara will curl your lashes without you having to use your eyelash curler yourself and will hopefully add some volume. I don't really have a whole lot in the eyelash department. I use castor oil to uh, grow them out after having extensions done for quite some time. And it does work, castor oil, if you put it on your eyelashes at night before you go to sleep. But again, I've never really had luxuriously long lashes to begin with, so what I have, short and sparse as they are, I do love them, I do curl them, and I do still wear fake lashes from time to time. So I'm hoping that this little drugstore gem will will actually add some volume and curl my lashes for me. I think that would be great if it saved me that step. But first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. And then we'll go ahead and apply this mascara and see if it actually works. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm just keeping my look pretty simple today. Um, got a little tart. Uh, highlighter on my eyelid, a little bit of color pop on my eyelid, um, but just kind of keeping it subdued. I am really liking this, this color from ColourPop lately. It's a super shock shadow that they have. It's a really pretty creamy eyeshadow. And I really like their brand because it's, it's beautiful. Their colors are super pigmented and it's affordable. So can't really go wrong with that. So that's really what I've got on my face right now. Everything's pretty much simple and, and laid back to really kind of showcase the mascara. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it and uh, work on my eyebrows and we'll see if anything happens. Okay. Um, so far it's not really, not really anything to write home about. It's not terrible, but uh, it's not really doing anything spectacular. So I just got to give it a minute. Have patience. I have to have patience. And if you're wondering what foundation I have on today, it's uh, it's the CC Cream by It Cosmetics. I've actually been really liking that surprisingly lately. It gives really good coverage and lets my skin breathe and it doesn't really settle in the, the fine lines, which is good for someone with mature skin. Hopefully it'll all shake out all right. See? It's curled a little bit, although it's really subtle, so I think this would be for like a no makeup, makeup day kind of thing. Um, yeah, uh, I don't really see a whole lot of volume, and I don't really think that it has uh, curled my lashes for me so much. Uh, it doesn't look terrible. I, I mean, I don't hate it. I think I would just wear it on a day when I just want to add a little more pop to my eyelashes uh, after curling them myself, which is totally fine. Um, but I don't know if it would be my new go-to. It's, you know, not super crazy about it, and I don't really hate it. I mean, it's, it's just okay. And I am not sponsored by any of these products. I think in my Dr. Brandt bags no more, which really did work, I neglected to say I'm not sponsored by them either. These are just my opinions and what works for me may not work for you and vice versa and that's totally okay. Um, just giving things a try here and hopefully saving you guys time or money and if it's something that uh, you actually like then I think that's awesome. Uh, we're all very different in, in our makeup happies and our makeup sads. So anyway. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this video. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Bye.